because we do spend a lot of time together working. Yeah. And we do spend a lot of time together parenting. Yeah, but I'm specifically talking about us being a couple. Um, and so I don't think that we get that. I, I feel very similar that I did in that video of like, there's not really that many times where we get to just be us together. Um, and, it, and I'm saying it's okay. It's, it's not the negative that I think I felt back then. Because back then, I think that when we were together as a parenting unit, it was like shit. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or you have a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to engage with your audience, have a beautiful website, and to sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place on your terms. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty for 10% off the purchase of a website or domain. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Just get him out of here. And why do we assume it's a he? Because he's mean. He's not mean. He's doing his thing. He's not even concerned with me. If you just ignore it, I know, but you're I cannot. Okay. I cannot. He's gonna go. Don't hit me over the edge, okay. please. Is he right above my head? I don't know. No, he's so far. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. I you're know. fine. I, I know. I'm fine. I hope you're happy. I am happier. You guys have to understand, there's a drop below us that you definitely will break your legs, depending on how you fall, maybe your back, depending on how you fall, maybe die. And behind us is a spiky plant. So you cannot fall backwards. I'm not. I'm not gonna fall. Good, I'm very happy for you to be sturdy. You're gonna go away. You, just, you gotta relax. Okay, I am relaxed. No, I hope you're in focus because you completely went off camera. <laughs> <sighs> Do you know that it's better to have a first date in a situation just like this? Like what? Life or death? Yeah, because it's arousal confusion because your heart rate's already up. A first date. Yeah. Not any date because it makes you feel like, oh, like I'm getting excited around this person when really you're just concerned for your life. But we're not having a first date. We're about to have a potentially contentious conversation. So this is probably one of the worst environments to yeah. have this conversation. You think it's gonna be contentious? I think it's been a like hard week. Yeah. We just naturally, I think, been getting on each other's nerves, but that's because we have limited time, lots to do, no help. Um, it's easy, you know, mistakes are made in these kinds of environments. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's easy to get frustrated I've been frustrated at myself too. Mm. So you're like an extension of me. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't like the whole phrase of don't take it personal. Because mm -hmm. what we do is, is intrinsically personal. You know, we're both extremely invested. It, it would be different if I was a, an employee, right? There's a different level of investment in the product that we produce. Um, because I view it just as much as mine as it is yours. No, I love that. But to give backstory, what I was saying when I've been repeating this phrase this week is my hair is short. So this is like, I just got a haircut last week, but this has been like a series of haircuts trying to salvage my hair. And I've just been feeling really unpretty. So whenever we do stuff or we make stuff, I'm like, this is stupid. This is terrible. It looks really bad. And I had to just tell Jared like, hey, it's not like you or your work. Um, it's just, I don't even know what environment I'm gonna feel pretty in right now. So that's what I meant by don't take it personal. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's a tough week. I mean, it's a tough month uh, with the summer and Ryu and Zaya having trading off being out of daycare and then us trying to get work done in the midst of us trying to launch um, newness and fresh and exciting things that we both are passionate about and have ideas of what they look like or what they should be like or how they should feel. Um, and so the pressure is high. Yeah. Do you know what makes me feel really proud? And I thought about this this morning actually um, because this has been such a very special year. Mm -hmm. It's been really special in just a million different ways. But we started this year really putting all of our eggs in the high hopes basket. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that, the ability to dream with that and to plan around that. And we really did, we, lit, we invested 
mm-hmm. you know, a good amount of money and, and time and resources into that. And that didn't pan out. Mm-hmm. I think that's okay. For sure. I, I think the thing that I took from that was experience, one. And two, um, it, it's just one of those experiences that if I didn't do that, I would have always looked back at it and been like, I wish I would have done that. Yeah. You know, especially knowing that it didn't move the needle for anybody involved. But it was like, oh, that was a cool experience. There was a moment in time where you got to dream that this could be it. Yeah. This could have been the thing that changed everything for me. Um, And I am grateful for that moment in time. Yeah, I think about it in terms of having faith in our ability to make the investments we're making right now with high hopes and grounded expectations. We have invested a lot of money this year. Uh, Right now, our bank account has never, I don't think we've ever held a lower balance than Mm -hmm. we have right now, probably Mm -hmm. since like 2018 or so. Yeah. Um, So so there's discomfort with that. Also acknowledging I'm a middle-class kid, Jared's less than (laughs) middle-class, but I'm a middle-class kid. So I'm very big on savings. I'm very big on like rainy day money which I know in order to have like a billionaire or millionaire mindset, you can't be like that. So I'm I'm trying to like retrain my brain too, to like be okay with these high risks. So all of it all combined uh, just makes for a difficult, we just had our youngest daughter turn two, which is both a milestone and a like, okay, the tantrums are starting. Like we're kind of, we just got out of it with Ryu. Yeah. Uh, and we're right Ryu back into it. Ryu is turning out to be really helpful. Um, there's moments where I see, okay, this is the type of big sister that you're going to be. Yeah. And life right now is exactly how it sounds and what it looks like. It's hectic. Um, so I am joined here, who I was joined, but he had to get up and leave. I'm joined by my husband, Jared Brady, who's going to be my guest of honor, and Ryu Brady, who is with us as a default because the person that we have helping us out here for childcare is sick with norovirus. Um, so we have to improvise and do this podcast on the fly. Hi, Jared. Hi. <laughs> I'd rather have Zai. Yeah? Yeah. But Zai sleep. She's waking up like any moment now. And I can't do this with Ray. Okay. I just can't. What's it like with two kids? Um, it feels like a bunch of people put as many weights that are in the 24-hour fitness on top of your back as you tried to walk across coals of fire, as people are still throwing eggs at you, and as they're throwing eggs at you, you have a bunch of million of hornet nets that have been kicked and stomped on that are trying to sting you at the same time. That's what it's like having two kids. Do you regret it at all? Um, no, not, no, no, not regret. No, no, no. I don't regret it. Regret is not the word. Uh, invested is the word. What does that mean? It means I, I invest now, I lose a little bit of time. I, I invest my time, I invest my energy, and as they begin, as they, as they start to get older, you start to reap the benefits and watching them grow and become humans. But right now, it's all investment. Has the addition of a second baby changed our relationship? I don't feel like us, as a partnership, as a unit, really get time. We don't even sleep in the same bed anymore. And so there is a disconnect that, I, that you naturally start to feel. And sometimes you get to a place where you're like, is there something wrong with me? Does she still love me? Does she still, is she still interested in me? Is she still about this? Like, because we don't have that connection that we naturally would get where we're laying with each other or we're talking or we're going out. Um, and so that leads to like insecurities and our relationship. What's interesting about hearing your experience is my experience is completely opposite to yours. Okay. (laughs) Because I actually said this to you that I don't even know how people could leave their partner at this time. Like I am so in love with you, desperately in love with you because you're all I have. Yeah. Like the thought 
of isolating from you or not having you is not only something that makes me sick to my stomach, it's not even an option. Like, I would fucking die without you. No, and I That's don't... what I know, yeah. but let me finish. That's what I'm saying is that that knowledge, like to your point, life is so crazy and so overwhelming and so busy. If I didn't have you, I would be dead. So every moment, and it's less moments than it used to be for sure, that I get to look over and I see you, I'm like, thank God <laughs> for Jared. Yeah. Like everything in me feels so much more connected and grateful and lustful towards you because like you're literally the difference between me and insanity. What do you think is different about our sex life now, if anything? I just think it's quicker. It's not as long. It's not as like set up. It's not, um, it's just not as like time taken into it. It's more of like, uh, we're, we're, we're going to connect as long as we can, but we know we have something to get to. Um, which is, is, is cool in some aspects, but it, it'd be nice if we had a couple times where we didn't have to squeeze it in, you know? But I, I think that will come when they get older and we can have one person watch both of them. Right now, we just don't have somebody who can take both of the kids away from us at a time. So we're just kind of stuck with this temporary quick quickies interesting too because i feel the opposite what this is supposed to be a update to the video that we shot in colombia yeah. in 2022 i would love to get your first reflections because we listened to it this morning while we uh, got ready for this yeah um well let me ask you this do you feel like we get any more time for us we sleep in the same bed now we do sleep in the same bed not now. the whole night but we sleep sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, no. Nah, take that back. We don't sleep in the same bed. Not most of the time. Yeah. But sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes. But I left the bed at 3 a.m. last night when Ryu came up. Yeah. So, yeah, I do think we do. I definitely think, I, just, I think it just keeps getting incrementally better. I am amazed. I'm amazed at how time passes. Mm. Um, and I think... <laughs> I love this about us because some parents say that so woefully, like, oh, I just wish they'd stay this small forever, or, oh my gosh, like you just blink and then they're grown up, like I just want them to stay small. And we have both been on team, like, grow up. <laughs> like, we'll do this with you and we're in this with you and we get it and we understand this is an integral part of you growing up and becoming the kinds of people that we know can contribute to the world in an amazing way yeah. and contribute to our life rather than just taking from it. Um, but yeah, there's definitely no part of me that's like, oh, I just, if I could go back. Like, I can't believe we've come this far and I would, I'd never steer the ship around. Yeah, the seas just keep getting a little smoother. So I feel like we do get more time, but I feel like you're gonna not feel the same way. I don't, I don't, I don't. I think that it's getting easier, um, but I don't think that we get couple time, yeah. like ever. Um, you know, the, the closest thing we get is when we do go to Lauren's house um, and there's like other adults that can kind of mitigate, but then still it's not necessarily us as a couple, it's us as a couple with the group, um, which I think is a different version uh, of who we are together. Um, and so we don't get that often unless the kids go to my dad's house or to Lauren's and we're not involved in that transition. but. Um, I don't think that we have that. I, I, I still stand on that moment when I was saying that I don't think the fire is dimmed. I think that it's just burning and we don't get to enjoy it. It's just there. Um, and so, which is nice because we got to do other things. We get to see our kids grow up. We get to see our, each other as parents together. Um, we get to, you know, be as a family. But as far as business us- Business partners. And business partners. But as far as us- Because we do spend a lot of time together working yeah and we do spend a lot of time together parenting but i know what you're saying yeah but i'm specifically talking about us being a couple um and so i don't think that we get that um and so uh yeah i i, I feel very similar that i did in that video of like there's not really that many times where we get to just be us together um and and i'm saying it's okay 
It's, it's not the negative that I think I felt back then. Because back then, I think that when we were together as a parenting unit, it was like shit, you know? Like the kids were crazy, there was neurovirus, we were getting sick all the time, um, there was tantrums, and then there was like an infant who was just like a constant need. Um, so it wasn't, it was like still joyful and then all those things to, together, but at the end of the day now, it's like we get to be parents with kids that we actually enjoy spending time with um, because there's a little bit more overlap on the things that we can do with them, the conversations we can have. When we go to the park and how we play with them is different than it was before uh, because they're getting older. So there is growth, but it's not uh, romantic. Yeah, I can feel that. I, I'm thinking about what I said in that video in that my love for you was stronger and my bond for you was stronger because of how much I need you. And I don't need you as much anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's a positive thing. I think that there was a time where even being alone by the, with the kids by myself was like really terrifying. Mm -hmm. I started drinking wine, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like just because I would get really stressed out and it's just such differing needs. And I, when we had Zaya, I had gotten the parenting advice of and I felt the need to lead into the parenting advice of give the love to the firstborn. Yeah. The secondborn, give the needs, and meet the needs, but give the love to the first. So yeah. I felt an extreme guilt ever giving attention to Zaya. And so mm. when I was alone with them, it just put me in a really weird place. And so my like need for you was just like, <gasps> Like, don't leave, don't go. Mm. And like, you'd go and do something. I'm like, it's totally fine on the inside. I was like, panicked. Now, like, I, you know, yeah, it's, it's okay. Like, when you're there, it's beautiful and it's an additive. And when you're not, we've got our own flow and our own system too. And so now I get to enjoy you, I think more in a being way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, how do you think that our work life comparatively to then is now? I'm really proud of us. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of us. I think people in the comment section in the last video, I feel like just were like, be honest for fuck's sakes. Because everything was like, it's great. It's fine. We're so in love. The sex is short, but it's so much better. Like we don't have date nights, but I love you more. I barely get to like really you know, connect with you, mm -hmm. but I feel very connected to you. And like those were genuinely true, I think, because of everything being turned up because of that deficiency. Mm -hmm. um, all of my emotions towards you even getting to be sexual with you, it just felt like praise, it felt like worship, it just felt like a gratitude hour. Um, so I think for work, for us, I don't really know how to answer the question because I went on a different tangent, so maybe you can, you know. <laughs> I think, I think with work, uh, we're aligned on the high level. Like, we have the same dreams, we, have, we see a vision for it, we know what we want. Um, and then on the task level, we we are a little clunky. Yeah, or I, I think what's happening a lot of late is we'll have a powwow and then we'll separate. We work very asynchronously, which in essence means like, okay, you got your side, I got my side, you do it on your time, I'll do it on my time. But you know what you're responsible for, I know what I'm responsible for. So that requires a lot of trust and a lot of good communication because we have to, we're not sitting in like, we're not in the same office, we're not holding hands, we're not talking all day. You'd be surprised if you worked with us, like how little we communicate throughout the work day, despite the fact that we're like 10 steps apart. But I think of late, we've like come together for these synchronous moments like this, that, third, the, the, and then we've separated. And then we've both been like, wait, what did you think I said? And you're like, okay, well, what did you think I said? Because we're just not, we just didn't get the same message. Um, but we're hiring two people. It's gonna be taking some stuff off of our plate. Uh, we're hiring somebody specifically to help us with the organization. So I overall, like, I think that the TL, I don't like this acronym, but my TLDR of this, you see I'm staying calm. Just finish your phrase. My love. You, you're okay. I, you're gonna be fine. He's gonna fly around and he's gonna disappear. Okay. I'm just overwhelmingly proud at how 
mediocrely, we're doing everything. Okay. Because we are doing everything. Yes. That's good. That's a good way of looking at it. Do you like that? Yeah. What do you feel? A lot of times, too, you know, we, we get to a space where we're like, we have these ideas of how to do something, and then we, we look up and we're like, we don't have the time, so we have to do it as quick and efficient as possible. Yeah, yeah. It just sucks because you don't know if people who are watching or, or consuming know that. You know what, there's like such a temptation in me to do so many disclaimers this year, even on this YouTube channel, to like offer disclaimers, like it's gonna be different, trust me in this. And as you can probably tell right now, we are capable of making two videos a month, which we are contracted to make two videos a month with our sponsor Squarespace. We should probably give some love to right now. Pardon the interruption, promise. Quick word from our sponsor Squarespace. I'll talk about my three favorite features. One, Squarespace Blueprint AI and SEO tools. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Then launch your site and get discovered fast with the integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want to. Two, flexible payments. For those of you selling things, make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools, except credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, and in eligible countries, offer customers the option to buy now and pay later. Last but not least, Fluid Engine. With Fluid Engine, the next generation website editor from Squarespace, it has never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. To find out what that means and to bring your next big idea to life, go to squarespace.com, get a two week free trial, no credit cards offered. And once you love what you have started to build, launch your site and go back to squarespace.com, but this time put slash shambooty, cause that's how you get 10% off a website or domain. Are you worried about our love at all? You gave an anecdote in the last one about the couple who yeah. pour so much into mm -hmm. everything else that when yeah. everything else grows up and moves on, they don't have anything left. No, I'm not worried about it um, because um, I feel like whenever there is moments of disconnect, we intuitively know to like connect on some capacity. Um, a lot of times it's aligned after a fight. <laughs> but. You know, I think those are good indicators because we both care about us as a unit. And if there is an issue, there's difference between bickering and then there's, uh, there's times where we can both realize like, no, there's an issue right now. Um, and I think we both do a good job at like going through those moments, getting through it and then realizing, okay, cool. We just need to connect right now because the balance is off. Um, so I'm not worried about our love in that capacity, I wish. We had more sex, but that's not in our control right now. <laughs> well, let me get back to that, but also by just taking a moment to shout out my dad. But my dad actually said to me in that interview that I did with him that he's learned a lot from our relationship, mm -hmm. which like took me aback. Mm -hmm. I was like, my dad learning from me, period. Uh, <laughs> and he said what he learned is that not everything has to be like an explosive argument. Um, that's just something I'm just really proud about you and I is that we can acknowledge com discomfort, we can acknowledge incompatibilities, and because our priority is the relationship, our priority is our love, we have so much respect for each other as individuals and what our vision is for what we share, mm -hmm. that I just think that we're really able to like isolate and attack those specific things without attacking each other. Mm -hmm. I know you've gotten better at that, and I hope that you feel in turn that like when something bad happens, I'm not using this as a way to make you feel like, oh, you're not. No, no, that the audio thing. I'm, oh yeah, I'm a little upset about that, but yeah, that's you know understandable, but still, um, that that did bother me a lot did bother me a lot. And it took everything in me when I found that audio not to be an asshole about it. And you did great. Did I, did I tell you that? Yes, yeah, you, you know, you said thank you for not being mean about it, but I, I took a lot of restraint. I yeah, and I appreciate that. To give you guys like the backstory of that, which I don't know how much of this is even interesting. Uh, we did a shoot, we spent the entire day. It was kind of stressful too, because we had to pick up the kids. So 
Uh, we started the shoot, Jared had to leave. Essentially, I packed up the shoot by myself, and then I put it outside. He came with the kids, we had to load it into the car. I had to take an Uber home with the kids, there was enough space for the equipment plus us. And it was just like, a, wow. Uh, it was a part of the new vision that we have for what we're creating for next year. This particular video won't even come out until next year at some point. It was just like, it felt really great. And then we get home and Jared was like, I don't think that we recorded the audio. And I lost it. Um, just verbally, just let go. Just, just it really expressed just how disappointed and mad I was and just shocked. Um, I'm kind of proud of certain things I did in that moment though. Like I said, we suck. I didn't say you suck. I wish it would have been like, I know Jared's ability. I know what he cares about. I know that if he did make this mistake, it wasn't out of negligence. It was a genuine mistake. So the approach of it being like, okay, we're in this together. Mm -hmm. Instead of attacks on me. Because that doesn't even, it didn't do anything. It didn't bring the audio back. At the end of the day, I do pride myself on not losing my temper. And that is not something that I can really continue to have a badge for because I lose my temper with the kids. Uh, have lost my temper with the kids and there's instances in our relationship now where like that was an example of like losing my temper and like I, those things bring me shame I'm really sorry no yeah I'm it's we're past it now and, you know I'm just like I just you know and I know it's hard in that moment like I I would I would hope kind of like going to your thing of I know you're a good person because of the history that we built together. So if you do something that is out of character, I, I put that on that was out of character. And then I treat you like the good person that I know. We acknowledge and, and address the mistake that was happened, but, but my approach to you is as somebody that I know to be not make this mistake. And so with that, it felt like with that in specific, it just felt like the all the me encompassing is like you're stupid, you shouldn't have done that, you know, this is such a low level mistake. Um, so yeah, it just felt it just and, and I'm not saying that you have to approach it differently. I'm just expressing to you in that moment where I was like, like I just wouldn't. I hope that in if if the shoe wheel on the other foot, we can just approach it and be like, okay, how do we fix this and how do we learn from this? Yeah, and maybe in those cases, like, sometimes you just need that moment. Like when we had this exact same mistake happened with an employee, and I think I reacted pretty similarly. And I got an opportunity to express that outrage because the, em the employee wasn't present. So I just would, maybe in future, I asked for, time 10 minutes after or six minutes after my initial reaction i should have just asked for time right away given myself my ryu moment you know, we tell rai like you need to go in your room slam it close the door and just do your thing yeah she goes in her room screams her little head off comes out when she's ready um, that might have been better for me to do i think i'm actually doing a better job of that as a mom of acknowledging yeah. when i'm getting to my limit and you as a dad too yeah being like I get get these kids out of my face. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously the better solution is to not even let yourself go there. But I guess in times when you can't, yeah, I shouldn't have let you, you should not have been the recipient of that. Even if the mistake was made, which it wasn't, because you're amazing at your job. You're great at what you do. You handled so much that day. You were so professional. You were so sexy. We really, at the end of it, the compliments that I got on your behalf, uh, on our behalf, and I think all of that together, just feeling so much pride, that feeling coming crashing down um, was just like overwhelming. But yeah. what I originally felt was just like an overwhelming gratitude for you, and I'm sorry that it got stained by that. Um, Sex, unless yeah. you wanted to finish up. No, 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 let's go into it. I think, I think that we don't have sex as often, but we, we have sex more than we used to. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's, a, that's, a, that's a growth there. 
Um, and I and I think that we with Arya, we we try more, uh, we experience more, and uh, I don't think it's a I don't think we're in a bad space sex wise. Like we haven't had a day where we've just had sex, but we you know I mean that used to be a regular thing of ours on the weekend and um, yeah just really taking our time with foreplay, like doing something out in public together, letting that tension build. Going Not home. sex in public, like going out. And I mean, getting ice you know how I feel about sex <laughs> yeah. in public. I'm very yeah. interested. We're not doing that. Yeah, eventually we will, in our way. In a party. In a, in a, in a, in in a, a place, place where it's meant to be it, happened. Yeah, not like at Baskin Robbins. Like, that's crazy. But. You know what's actually really interesting, too, is since we had that conversation last time where we're very different in this way and not to use, like, gendered ways, but I feel like I have a more... The dad, I typically more side with when I'm having these conversations where the dad can completely separate. Like once the kids are out of sight, you're like not a parent anymore. Um, you know, they're asleep. So like now it's like on us. And oftentimes the mom is still like, I can't get out of mom mode. Mm -hmm. um, so knowing for you that like great sex rarely happens when the kids are home uh, has really helped me. And hearing other people's experience with that too has just really helped me. And I've been a little quieter and still really enjoyed in different ways. And so I'm like, I'm cognizant of your experience and then also really aware of the need to really lean in when we do have time just to ourselves. Yeah. Do you feel like you're getting over the, the oh, the kids can maybe hear or the kids are around? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think about it as much anymore, um, especially because it's never happened in the past. So they never like woke up in the middle of it, and they're further, they're far enough to where we can stop if we hear them. So I, I, I'm not as concerned anymore as I used to be. Um, and so yeah, I just wish we had more time and we had more, you know, times to do it when it's not like a choice where it's like, and I don't mean choice in doing it. I mean choice in like, should we get sleep because we're both tired and we haven't been sleeping, or should we prioritize this? Um, I wish it was just kind of like a given and we don't have to, you know, sacrifice our sleep for it. You know what's pretty crazy? We only for the past less than a month. Mm -hmm. So maybe since uh, we, uh, we had somebody live with us, they just moved out like August 5th. Mm -hmm. So between August 5th and now, Zaya has been out of school for a week. So this week actually has been the only week. But like this week, we have been home alone together. Mm -hmm. and we've never had day sex. Because we have so yes. much work. Yeah. So. But I'm like looking forward to a time because even though we're high, uh, high it's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. Well, the idea of it is like really nice. <laughs> the idea of not needing to do it because this is the only time, but do it despite the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I really miss that. Yeah. Um, I really miss that vibe. And what's really great about vacation is that you get that. So more moments like that in the future are what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. What do you uh, hope or need um, differently going forward? I couldn't even ask that. I don't know. Yeah. You know, like, I have to, like, really think about that. It never crosses my mind. No. No, no. That's good. I never look at you. I like love you in the way that I aspire to love myself one day. Like I don't ever look at you like you're not enough or you could be doing better or you could be better looking or, you know, I just like am happy with who you are right now and all of it. Like I just see you. Like I see you through the lens of the reality of what's going on. I think a great example of that is like body. I'm like, oh, your body is fire. You look really sexy. And you're like, I haven't been to the gym. Or I haven't done this. And I'm like, yeah, when I say your body is fire, your body is sexy. I mean that with all that information present. Like I'm not judging you based on circumstances that I just know are not possible right now. Like I like just see you as like perfect in, in every moment. Because I just know you're always trying your best, always doing your best. And um you keep the family at the forefront of all that you do. So that's more than enough. I understand our circumstances better than anybody because I'm in it with you. Um, 
So I never, ever, I see you the same way that I seen, that I seen you when we first got together. Um, I told you that the other day. It's like, there's no part of me that feels any different about you um, than I did when we first fell in love. Um, I'm excited for the future in general. Um, yeah. Life, parenting, romantic, and work. It makes aging easier. <laughs> yeah. it, you know what I mean? Because you're like, something has to get, like time has to pass, and we're increasingly getting to enjoy more stretches of time as things start to level out and we start to learn the kids more, they start to learn themselves more, we expand the business. So like time is just naturally, I think, on our side. Um, and I hope it continues to be that way, you know, forbidding anything really terrible happening. But time has continued to be on our side, has been an ally. So there's something like sexy about that. Yeah. I like love thinking, I mean, that's, we can just end this, but it's only get corny from here. Let's just fucking get out of here. <laughs>